you to get 40. We heard you wanted to get 40. But Doc Rivers always talks about how you play with no anxiety. You weren't just unafraid of the moment. You own the moment. What did this game feel like for you? Uh, you know, it's, it's a testimony to the work. I always tell people the work that you put in when nobody else is around, early mornings, 6 a.m., late nights, uh, it shows when you perform in front of thousands. With the addition of James Harden, you and Tobias Harris have had to make some adjustments and even some sacrifices. How do you sum up the impact Tobias had on the team's success today? Uh, he was huge. He was huge. I, I think he ended up like 25. But the biggest thing he did was uh, contain Siakam. Uh, it's going to be big. That one-on-one -on -one defense is huge. Uh, he was on the board. And, uh, you know, it was a uh, total team effort. And this was a very physical game against a team that is known to make a lot of adjustments. What are you anticipating about game two? Man, we just got to go out here and fight. It's going to be a fight every single night. Uh, that's one down. Uh, the job's not done. You know, we got to go out here and keep fighting, make adjustments to what they did well. And uh, we got to keep our foot on the gas. Um, we saw you walk in. You were wearing the Allen Iverson throwback. And you also became first Sixers player with the most points in the first postseason game since Iverson. Do you feel like you're the answer going forward for this team? I just go out here and try my best to help us win. I mean, I don't get into all the shenanigans. Uh, I will show up every day and do my job. That's why I tell my teammates. You weren't going to bite on that. That's okay. Congrats on the win and the performance. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Dave? It was a very wise answer yes, about the question was, uh, regarding the answer. That's right. <laughs> 38 for Maxie.